Hey everyone, it's Emily. Welcome back to the Casual Puzzler to another sit down video. I know I'm not filming in my puzzle studio recently. Um, just something about that room is just, it's just so dark. It's so dark in there. And I just love the bright lights that come in through the living room window. So that's why we've been filming out here. It's getting dark so early right now, like 5.30, the sun's already over the mountains. So I'm just enjoying the little bit of daylight that is coming into our house right now. But today's video is highly requested. I don't normally get a ton of requested videos, but this one, it's been requested quite a few times. And that is about my puzzle table. So I've mentioned about a month ago, a little over a month ago, that I purchased a puzzle table. It's been something that has been on my wish list for years, and I just never did it, never thought it necessary. Um, but it's something that I've always wanted. But we ended up buying it because I got a random check in the mail. It was found money. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna buy one thing that I really want and then put the rest in savings. So that's what I did. The one thing I bought was a puzzle table. I've had it for over a month. I want to give it a nice thorough try in like a longer period of time for me to use it, see if I actually use it, if I really like it, things that I would change, things that I really enjoy about it before giving you a thorough review. So that's what we are doing today. I know a lot of you may be interested in this for maybe Christmas or a gift, or maybe you're just like saving up for one or have ever wondered if it's worth it or not. Now let's start off with deciding which one for me because there's so many different options out there. There's different sizes. They have ones with legs, some that are just like a tabletop one, some that are like a full leg thing. There's ones with drawers, some with covers, like there's a whole bunch of different varieties. And I knew for me, I wanted something that had some sort of leg, but not necessarily a full length table because I already have a table that I can do puzzles on, but I really wanted something that had some sort of leg that I could sit underneath um, or I could fold them up to put on a table if I wanted the extra height. So I could also see it working on my puzzle table in the other room if I wanted more of a slant. So that's why I decided to get one with some sort of leg versus just having like a flat tabletop or the longer leg all the time. I wanted something that was relatively affordable. So this one was 135, still pricey, you know, it's still some things to save for, but I know there's some that are really expensive. So for me, I think I got more of like that middle range price point. Now, as you guys know, I have three cats, so puzzling with cats is very difficult. And I wanted something to keep the puzzle safe. So if I'm doing up to a 1500 piece puzzle on this table, I had an option where I can cover it for the nighttime. Like that's the whole point is to make sure my puzzles are safe from the cats at night. And so I did get the one with the little plexi puzzle cover. And so that's why I ended up with the all four jig puzzle table. I'll leave it down below if you're interested and you want to purchase it yourself or maybe send it to your husband or wife if you are wanting one for Christmas. So as I've already mentioned, it does have foldable legs that are shorter, but they fold right inside of itself. It does have a little plexi cover, which is also nice. And it also has an option to raise the puzzle table. So that way it's at an angle. So that way you're not like reaching so far across the table. It does have four drawers that can be completely removed from the puzzle itself. So you can have them laid out and sort. There is Velcro on the inside of the puzzle board. So that way when you're transporting it, it does stay secure. So that way you can move it around without it falling open. Um, and there's also, I found that you can put the clear plexi behind the legs when you're traveling. So that way it's not like flopping around everywhere. So that's what I've been doing with that. And there's a handle so that you can carry it pretty easily. It's not the heaviest thing. Like I can easily move it from one room to another. So that's pretty much all the features that I have here. I'll put the actual dimensions of the table on the screen in case you are curious. So I'm gonna tell you some things I would change about it, but then I'm also going to tell you my thoughts and experience so far. So the things that I would change is one, I don't like the Velcro. Um, even though it's a great option to keep it secure, so when you're moving it about, you can keep it secure. The Velcro catches on everything, which of course is what it does, but when I'm lifting up the board to put the stand in, often my sweater will drop down and it will like get caught on it. So I've, I've caught a couple sweaters on it already. So instead of Velcro, I wish it was like 
I don't know, mag magnetic or maybe like an option to like twist something so it stays closed. I also think that having a twist option to have the plastic piece on top of the board when it's moving would be a great option because right now it's either I put it underneath so that the legs keep it together, but that means that the felt itself is exposed to fur and dust and needing to be cleaned when I need to use it again. So I wish there's a way for me to keep the plastic piece on the puzzle table when it's being transported. So that way it's a little bit of like a security measure, you know? So I wish there was that. I also know that they have options where the drawers can be locked in place and I wish I had that feature. They did have that option, but it wasn't available to sell. And at this point, it's not even listed anymore. They have a tabletop version, so that way you can have the lockable drawers. And that's something I wish I had, because if I'm moving it about, sometimes the drawers just slide out. It's very easy for them to slide out. Luckily, I haven't had any pieces in it. Now, if I was to come in the living room, I'm setting everything up and I need the drawers open. It takes up a lot of space to get the drawers open. So oftentimes I have to like tilt one side to get the drawers, but on, then on the other side, the drawers are falling out. Like it's a whole thing of the drawers just falling out of the table when it's being moved. So I do wish I had the latches so that way they can be secure. I'm sure I could do some type of DIY project to do it on my own. Um, but that's something to mention if you're interested in buying a puzzle table and you're gonna be moving it a ton, then it might be something you wanna consider, um, or just know that you may have to do some type of DIY project to keep them closed. Other than that, I have no issues with it so far. I've only had it for about a month, so I'm not sure how the pilling would be or if it gets like weird while I'm using it for long periods of time. So far, it's still in pristine condition. It is really heavy duty, so I do appreciate that. And I do know that I have to like, use a lint roller every now and then to get some cat fur off, but not a big deal. It hasn't been like pulling up the felt from the wood at all. So I haven't had any issues. For my experience, I have only done it for 500 and 1000 piece puzzles. I actually haven't tried it with a 1500 piece one because I really got it more for those smaller piece puzzles, but to have the option of more space to put the puzzle pieces around the puzzle while I'm doing it. I felt like if I had gotten a thousand piece sized one, that it would be really restrictive of how big of a puzzle I could do. Cause some thousand piece ones are a little bit smaller, a little bit bigger. So I was really worried that it wouldn't be enough space and I also, again, want work area. Like I want a nice big surface so that way I can pull pieces out and have plenty of space around the puzzle that I'm doing and still have a lot of space. You know, I didn't want it to be super restrictive. Now it does take up a lot of space. So I often feel like the living room looks messy when it's out because I don't use it on the coffee table itself. I use it right on the floor, usually with a pillow underneath me, my legs underneath the table. Usually there's a cat in between my legs as well. So I just like nice and cozy when I'm watching TV. And that's the main reason why I got it. It was because late at night when I'm just sitting here watching TV, I can also be puzzling versus before I'd be over in the kitchen at the uncomfortable table and it's circular. So there's really not a lot of room on it. And I wouldn't really be able to watch TV because I'm way over there. So I wanted something that I could have specifically in the living room when I wanted to do a puzzle late at night. Now the first week that I had the puzzle table, I think I did four puzzles, which is definitely higher than my normal. Normally I do like maybe one to two, and I'm usually pretty quick about getting them done. You know, I'm sitting at the table doing it all in one sitting because even though there's ways to keep the cats off them and to keep the puzzles protected, it's just easier for me to just have it done, put it in a box and call it a day, or put it on puzzle boards, so that way I can like save it for a future video. Um, so for me having, it out has definitely made me do more puzzles because well, again, late at night, I can just sit down right in front of the TV, watch TV, do a puzzle, and it's been great. And I also feel like I'm more relaxed. Like I, again, don't need to do it all in one sitting. So there's been times where I've been leaving a puzzle two to three days on the puzzle board and it's been great because I can just leave it overnight and not have to worry about it. Yes, I can use the cover during those times, but I've also realized that when the table is at an angle, the cats do not go on it. Actually, they may have only jumped on it once when it was closed, but I don't think they like the texture of the felt. Like he jumped off really quickly. He didn't like the texture of the felt. I do feel like I should have gotten one sooner because now that I have one, 
I love it. I love it so much. I'm doing more puzzles again more late in the evening which is when I had plenty of free time but maybe didn't have the right lighting for filming a puzzle but did have plenty of light to do a puzzle if that makes sense. So I have filmed a couple of puzzle videos during the night but I do know I need a, a new system for that because I don't want the clamp for my overhead thing to ruin the puzzle but also I would much prefer using my camera versus my phone so I need to figure out some type of contraption to make it so I can watch TV while fam filming that would be like the ideal situation because I could film so many more videos if I could do that um, now again I'm moving I've mentioned this a few times we're moving in January so who knows how this is going to affect my puzzling um, so I'm excited to have an option to do outside of the puzzle room or whatever studio I'm in so that way it's more leisurely puzzling this is definitely more me doing puzzles for fun versus puzzles for YouTube and it's definitely giving me more I don't know I feel like I'm much more willing to pull out a puzzle late in the evening or when I'm sitting down to watch TV than I have before and it's just for fun you know I don't have any plans I'm just doing it because I want a puzzle and that has been awesome so I do recommend getting one um, this one I do like so far and I think for the price point it's working for me yes there's some tweaks that I would do to it um, but I think it's things that I, I could DIY somehow or I don't know I'll keep my out for another one but I don't need a new one anytime soon this is working perfectly fine and again I don't know how the situation is going to change come our move so those are my thoughts so far if you are interested in it again I'll leave it down below I am using Amazon's links so that way I do make a small kickback if ever you use those links so just to mention that but no worries if you don't want to use it you can just find it on Amazon also so that's it for me. I know it's a nice quick little video. I'm sure I'll be doing another video shortly that is going to be like things I recommend giving a puzzle lover for a holidays. So that video will be coming soon and I hope you like this one. Thank you so much for joining in and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!